All right, just quickly, I wanted to show you the, uh, they call it a makeup kit or a makeup box, but this is actually a carry-on suitcase in my mind. And I actually bought this with the intent to use it for um, photography, videography. I'm not that much into makeup. Um, however, having said that, this would work phenomenally as a makeup cosmetics um, kit as well. Once we get into it here, you'll see why. Um, so quickly, here it is in a nutshell, three, four sides of it. It has double rollers on the back. We'll start by saying that there's a double roller system and that seems pretty robust. Metal um, ball, ball bearings in there. The bearings are metal, which is a, a plus. They look to be well built. So there's two rollers in the back on each side. And then there's a, the um, blocks on this side. So it's not an omnidirectional roller. Uh, it just rolls in one direction and then when you stand it up it leans on these posts of course uh, The back side is pretty plain. That's about it for there. There is a similar to your your carry-on suitcases There's a button that you push and that extends all the way out Push it again to retract it There's a handle on top and a separate carrying thing so you can wrap this around another suitcase um, And have it hang off of this side and you can carry the two together that one would be piggybacked on here. On these sides, they're both the same. The other side's the same as this. Open it quickly, you can see. There's a nice big pouch here. And this is fairly thin. You can stick some stuff in there, some stuff in there. Um, but it is another access point for things you might want to put in there. Uh, moving to the front or the back, I'm not sure which this is. There's a pocket here that's pretty thin. That would be for um, paper-like things. Let's go ahead and measure these as we're going. So this one looks to be about seven inches wide and seven and a half to eight inches tall so that's fairly large and then there's one just above that which is slightly thicker and it folds right down so you can put something in there as well and this one is uh, nine and a half inches tall by about nine and a half inches wide so square-ish um, moving on to the very top of it there's a small um, couch at the top you can open this up and this one doesn't go in there that far I can stick my hand in there to, up to about there so that pocket will go down to the top of this I would say so you're looking at for that one about six inches deep by about six and a half wide and moving on to the main compartment and this is it this is the selling point of this whole thing so you can see that it sits as it is here you could have that sitting on the counter and be getting ready to present something or or use it as separate storages I am really stoked about using this for camera equipment. Um, I have so many different things from drones to video cameras to tripods to little gadgets here and there. Um, so this is going to organize all of my photography, videography stuff and I can't wait to use it. Um, so each of these has a clear plastic case on top so you can easily see what's inside. There's a little handle so those can be treated as individual packages as they're meant to be for makeup I'm sure. Um, simple zip to open system and there it is. There's plastic lining on all of this, so I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but it's certainly going to keep anything that spills in there to a point. Um, I wouldn't say that it's waterproof, though, and I don't think it says that in the advertisement. Let's quickly check the size of these. So these are 7 inches by 6 inches by about 2.5 inches deep. So that's, that's a fairly large pocket for that little guy. And there's two of those. So those are the two that sit on the top. So you've got two of those. The next one in line is one like this. And I believe all the rest of these are going to be the same size. So when it's all apart, you've got one, two, three, four of these and two of these. The size on the larger ones is approximately one foot, 12 inches by seven inches. And again, two and a half inches in depth. So. They're about 12 by 7 and 2 and a half inches deep. So moving into the box itself, you can see there's a removable liner in here. And this has a bunch of little, um, I'll remove it so you can see. There's a bunch of little um, sewn down portions of this stretchy elastic. And so you can stick things in there um, that you want to keep on, on a on a wall like that. This thing is removable although it's not easily removed and it just simply sticks back in there to the velcro. That's it for pockets on the inside. Measurements of the case on the inside you're looking at about 13 inches wide by about 17 inches tall so 
13 by 17 and it is about 8 inches deep. Overall dimensions of the box itself. Total height will be about 20 inches, 20 and a half inches. The total width will be about 14 inches and it's about 9 inches deep. So that fits within the uh, Transportation Safety Board's um, guidelines for carry-on luggage. So you could take this as a carry-on. One thing I noticed that when it was shipped, um, the clear faces were always put together. So they put clear face to clear face like this and then um, Gore-Tex or whatever this material is to that surface. Um, that may prevent some scratching of the clear faces. I'm not sure why they did that. And then finally you've got the two go up top. And there's also a little, another place here for papers, etc. This door, this, this giant flap is actually insulated. There's a insulation or some protective insulation in there. So that would protect against um, any, any hits or anything like this that might come from the outside a little bit. I'm always interested to know how much things weigh and, and maybe you are too. So I'll see if I can weigh this thing on my tiny little scale here in grams. Get it centered on there. 4,130 grams, so just over uh, four kilograms for this suitcase. It's, it's fairly heavy to the feel, but remember there's, there's individual cases inside of this, and I wouldn't say it's much heavier than your standard uh, carry-on luggage. Places to look for problems with these, there's gonna be, of course, this mechanism here, this button can break occasionally. I've had that happen on other suitcases. Um, you may end up with problems with the zippers. These zippers seem solid, the stitching seems excellent. Um, I see no, no future problems with this one, although I will update the review as we go. So there you go, that's it in a nutshell. If you're looking for a carry-on suitcase sized um, storage compartmentalized suitcase like thing, this is a pretty good choice. Um, two thumbs up from family of four. We'll catch you next time.